Law Jokes. I'm a founding member of G Law, which stands for God's Love at Work, Out of Tainment. And we're out here for the 28 day prison and premature death fast and power movement ministry. Anything that's hurting you or can kill you or can land you in prison. We ask that you fast for 28 days because it takes 28 days to break a habit, all right? So we ask that you fast for 28 days with us that hopefully the result will be that you could break away from whatever it is that was going to either send you to a prison or send you to a cemetery. So we need to fast for these 28 days, not just for us, but for our children. We must first consider the children. Yeah, that's basically what we're doing. We're just trying to raise awareness. We're trying to keep our youth, our youth out of prison, you know, and out of cemeteries. So, you know, because a lot of these other programs don't work. They'd rather just wait till you go to the funeral and then march. We're trying to get to the graduation. We're out here just trying to raise awareness. And that's what this is all about right here. You know, this is the real deal. This is exactly how it looks. This is the size of it. The only thing that you ain't got a computer, you ain't got no TV or no cell phone, you know, you ain't got no, be no people doing no interviews on you or nothing like that. You know, you can't have people just come up and talk to you just in the prison cell. Wherever I want, they want to keep you in there. And that's just basically what this is all about. My name is Brandon T. Jones, Vice President of God's Love at Work Foundation. Uh, I'm also co-chairman of the Youth Engagement Committee under the United Conference of Mayors, uh, under Mayor Michael Nutter. And uh, that's who I am, man. I'm an activist, man. You know, I'm out here trying to do my part, you know, as far as educating our kids, man, about prison and death prevention, because uh, as we know it, you know, our children are uh, going to prison, man, at an alarming rate. You know, they opening more juvenile facilities and closing more schools, man. So that's why I do what I do. Well, this is our third annual. This is our third annual uh, prison and premature death prevention. Uh, first annual, our third annual 28-day prison and death fast. Um, first time we did it, 19th and 100th uh, Park. Uh, it was a smash, you know, the, the community. It was like kind of a shock value. You know, they wasn't ready for it. And, you know, in turn, we had a lot of folks come down to support. And uh, other than that, man, it's just basically, man, Sidewalk therapy, that's what we call it, man. You know, if we're not in a jail cell, we're at a school, we're at a juvenile facility, we're at a rehab, we're at a church, we're at a mass gym. We're talking to the population that are going through these struggles, the ones that are causing these issues in our community because some of them feel like they have no way out or they have no other alternative or they feel like they exhausted all alternatives so they resort to doing what it is that they're comfortable with and most of the time it's slinging drugs and shooting people. You know, because of the environments that they put themselves in or that they've been forced to live in. It's really where we are, man. We want to show them jail before they got to be jail, you know. And nowadays, these kids, some of these kids, they got to see it to believe it, man. So we try to do our best at making it believable for them.